This video has two primary points. The first one is this. Save, 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 save. The second point is the difference between save and save as. So why am I spending an entire video covering something that you've probably done a million times in your life? Well, because you probably should have done it two million times or four million times. The truth is that most of us don't save our files enough. Which leads me to this very important question. What is the most valuable thing you have? Well, that was rhetorical. I'm sure a great number of you answered money. That is wrong. Your time. Your time is the most important thing you have. Too many of us don't save enough and then something happens, like Illustrator spontaneously quits, there's a power outage, um, you did back up to your thumb drive but that's the only place you backed up and it fell out of your backpack and the car ran over it, then the cat threw up on it and then the dog ate it. You're not getting those files back. There are two different ways you can save. You can do a regular save, or you can do a save as. So let's start off by doing a regular save. Um, obviously what you see on the screen here is a work of pure genius, not to mention sophistication. So we don't want this to be lost, now do we? I don't know. Of course we don't. And so I'm going to immediately go up to the file menu. I will hurry, but I won't panic and I will pull down to save. You'll notice the keystroke for save is command S and that will bring up this window here. This allows us to navigate to where we want to save the file and then it allows me to change the format of this. I have various and different choices here um, but because I am going to use this file in other Adobe applications, I am going to leave it as a native Illustrator file, which has a .ai extension. Up here is that extension. Please note that you should never change the extension here, because you can change the extension here and then also change the format down here, and you have a file that is mislabeled, and that can cause great problems. So change the uh, format here and the extension will automatically change. Obviously I need to give my file a name so I'm going to call it the obvious and then finally I am ready to click the save button. So Illustrator loves to bring up a second window when you're saving. Uh, this one you don't need to worry about too much unless you want to save in a different version of Illustrator. Otherwise you can just come down and click OK. OK, so here we are. I see my file named up here. Um, my work of genius now is very likely to survive through the ages. Unless I am dumb enough to only save it to a single location. So anything that is even the remotest bit important, you should back up at least in two places. So if that's on the computer working to, plus an external drive, then that's fine. But that's only for stuff that's marginally important. For stuff that's really important, I'd throw in a third backup in there. You guys have access to Dropbox, so why not use that? It's free, and it's a third backup that you can get to from anywhere you might possibly need it. Uh, for very important things, I will back up, and I'm not exaggerating, four or five times. The idea of losing those hours I spent creating, whatever, um, is just too much to bear. Okay, so what is the difference between save and save as? Well, save is what you do when you have a new file, and you want to initially give it a name and a location and a format. That's a good time to save. Also, as you're working on that file, then you are going to want to save often. Um, if you have any obsessive compulsive tendencies, this is the time to give them free reign. Uh, for instance, I probably save every minute or so when I'm working on something. So save often. Now you'll notice I didn't say save as anywhere in there. That's because a big mistake students often make is by doing a save as when they really should just be doing a save. If, however, you want to make a copy of your file, then that is the time you do a save as. Um, so I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to go to File, 
pull down to save as, keystrokes for that, command shift S. And this is a case where I would like to, you know, share this file with many, many people. And so I'm going to create a PDF of it. Now there is a separate video on this, but this should almost be enough. So I'm going to go down to format here, choose Adobe PDF. You will notice it changes the extension for you. Um, I'm going to double check that it is saving in the same folder that I saved the other file in. Indeed it is. And then finally, I can just click Save. Again, Illustrator loves these second windows. Uh, you most of the time are not going to need to change anything on here unless you want to save your PDF using a specific preset. So I'm going to leave it on Illustrator default and that will serve you well most of the time. And finally click Save PDF. And that's it. So the difference here is if you want to make a duplicate of something or several duplicates of something, say you're working on different versions of a file, um, then that is the perfect time to do a save as because it allows you to save all the work you've done before and then go in and modify it or add to it, but you still have your original version to go back to. And as you've just seen, it's also the way you would create PDF files from within Illustrator. Very simple process. Okay, that's pretty much it. Well, wait a minute. One more thing.